Welcome to Hunters of Io, everyone. Our grand finale. Oh boy. I hope you all are having a fantastic day right now. Uh, we Today is the finale of Hunters of Io, something I'm uh, a little bit mixed about because I've been playing with a lovely uh, crew of people uh, that have done absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but the chapter and story must come to an end. A future left uncertain by our lovely hunters. And we shall see exactly what happens. But first, I'm going to go ahead and unmute and get right into it. Over oh, that dark thing there. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Hello. Today? Howdy. Hey, bud. Howdy, Hello. howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, today is our Hunters of Io finale. And, um, uh, I know <laughs> I have, um, I also have mixed feelings about it because you all have been a lovely group to DM with, but I'm also excited to see how this story will conclude, what choices you all will make and how it will not only affect, uh, your future, but as well as the future of the region in Iowa as well. So it should be. It should be a very, very fun time. So let me go ahead. Um, first off, if everyone can do me a favor and go ahead and give yourself a full rest. No, we're going to need it for today's session. During the full rest, I'd like to use my poison ears of uh, ability. Oh, which okay. is okay. Hmm. Go which is it. spending 50 gold uh, worth of materials in an hour to create two doses of potent poison. Potent poison. All right. I have 50 gold on me. Can I just convert that? Since Absolutely. You can go ahead and, and, and say at that point you've used materials around the forest as you're looking around. You'd probably uh, at that point just see Eric hopping between the darkened <laughs> forest, <laughs> just skipping around, collecting a variety of mushrooms and, and the like at that point in time. Um, Ooh, that's lethal. Ooh, that's lethal. Ooh, that's lethal. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like uh, hovering over the, the beast like... Mm, that's good. Mm, poison. <laughs> you could, oh. At that point, yeah, you could use some. Um, I I am willing to say that you probably, if you had poison, you said to say a potent poison, correct? Yeah. Which is uh, when I attack a creature, it goes through its resistance of poison, and it has to make a DC 14 con save or take 2d8. That is pretty potent. Yeah. That's extremely potent. I um. Hmm. Go ahead and see. Oh, man, some of these are really cool. I like that, but that's good to know. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, yeah, you're able to do that at that point um, during your long rest as you're able to explore through the forest. Uh, as a recap of what happened last time, uh, you all, the last thing that you all witnessed and saw after facing the fearsome creatures of the forest is a, uh, after taking a full rest, taking a little bit of a, a camp, um, you spotted... Well, a couple of things. One, a purple-like viscous substance uh, assumed to be the blood of Vivi uh, trailing through the forest that went off into the woods and the trees, uncertain of its fa fate. Uh, you've come to the conclusion that he may still be alive as a fiery glow uh, was off in the distance. You headed north uh, to spot uh, your old instructor and an elderly knight essentially uh, trying to take out fires throughout the evening, uh, as well as uh, salvage. Yeah, salvage anything they can from the airship um, before hoofing it. Um, after encountering with you, uh, you spotted a strange maiden off to the south, sort of mm, being a little uh, flighty, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Off in the south, west in the distance of the darkness, the maiden itself just trailing back and forth and back and forth and, and dipping deep into the darkness before discovering uh, this beast, which is dead before you now, a displacer beast using one of the tentacles to control and animate corpses off the end, edges of their tentacles. Uh, between turns, it was able to phase into another plane of existence, uh, switching out the corpse that they were able to use. And after some time, you've downed the creature. Uh, to learn more of its creation, discovering that this is not a natural creature of the area. It's not a natural creature or anything. Uh, this creature appears to have been manufactured somewhere, 
uh, with its legs being modified, the, tent the, the leathery tentacles attached to its back. Uh, of that, of yeah, of a manufactured variety at this point in time. Uh, with that, you come together to the conclusion that you need to arrive over and back at the Hunter's Haven, the next spot that you need to go, and should probably uh, travel through the forest safely and together as a pack, so to ensure your survival. And with that, uh, you all would trail off into the forest and begin to explore it. Go ahead. And actually, I, th I believe I have... A m Do I have a map for that? I oh I no oh I guess I technically um so uh at that while you guys are exploring through the forest is there anything you would like to do or say I know that we've got the uh the poison that's being trailed over uh at that this point in time um but what what is everyone else doing while you guys are exploring through the woods heading over to the hunter's haven so we're just generally making our way back there as quickly as possible. Uh, it, that's, that's been the general idea of what to do, considering the fact that everything has been under attack, um, with these creatures, um, since you gotcha. are in the, the depths and darks of the forest, it would probably be best to arrive there as soon as you possibly can. I just, gonna... uh, oh no, you go first. Oh, oh, you go ahead. Okay. Pickles is just walking and just like, you know, twiddling his little mittens. What do you think's going on with the monsters? like a general question to everybody I don't even know if they're natural monsters thing didn't look like anything I've ever seen before and I've seen it all <laughs> even yeah, that weird okay. guy that would transform into a bunch of monster parts yeah I've seen that so wow. wait you knew about them <laughs> yes <laughs> 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 the hesitation. Eric just keeps walking. <laughs> wow, you're so well traveled. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What? So if you've, if you've seen them before, then how did you deal with them in the past? My God, look at that in the distance. It's and then he just like wanders off. <laughs> <laughs> points and keeps walking. Mm hmm. And what do you guys? What do you guys make of that size guy? He seemed to. You seem kind of mean, You're but so lucky you... Dirk just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that Dirk knew him or wants to know him, do you? I think he has a crush on him. Oh, that makes sense. Is he? You don't think he's conspiring with him? You? Uh... Oh, I don't know. It seemed like he wanted his autograph. But then the guy seemed to walk away. Yeah, very much like were, Dirk. I think if they were conspiring together, then it, it wouldn't be so creepy and one-sided. Mm. <laughs> uh, Scythe guy, what, what, what are you talking about? But there was this weird hunter that was at the hunter's haven, and he took some pretty big game off of the list, and we saw him kind of make this guy turn into a monster. It was not Chandame, not an actual right? monster, but but Chand a weird. Chandam, Chandam, was that Chand his name? Chandam, Chandam, Chandam. Sorry, I just love it. Chand um, uh, Chandam, that is correct. Hmm. Well, that is particular. You say he transformed someone into a monster? Well, I don't know if he transformed them or revealed them, so I don't know whose allegiance he has to. Mm. He begins to paw at it a, a little bit, scratch at his uh, chin, uh, at his beard. But what and do that... you all make of that guy? Just like asking the party. Mm -hmm. mm. It was an odd sight for sure. He was created from a bunch of different beasts. Mm. That is indeed Definitely not natural. That is indeed strange. Probably something we should investigate. Later on. Oh, what about Scythe Man? You think he's on our side? If he was revealing a monster that was hiding amongst us. But why wouldn't he stay? Why would he reveal it and leave it here to fight whoever came along? I don't know. 
That seems like a catch and release problem. Mm. Lot, lot of unanswered questions, it seems. Hmm. Uh, Where's Dirk? <laughs> he looks around. Dirk's like... Dirk's just basically it. aimlessly wandering. He doesn't really know where he's going, but he just had to walk away to not answer the question. <laughs> Dirk! Dirk, we should probably stay together. What? I oh. am together. Oh, there Ish. you are. Sorry, I couldn't see you. We should probably stay stay close together. I'm very concerned of what's happening right now, especially with these we weird beasts that I've... We've never even seen before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Stay together, Dirk. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> That's a good lad. As you continue to travel north over to the Hunter's Haven, uh, a sight alarms you as you see that the Hunter's Haven is currently lit aflame. Oh. My god, another Zeppelin crashed into that too. <laughs> you um at that point see the 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 uh the gnomish instructor stare off into the distance to see the hunter's uh, haven not completely ablaze, but you can see fires have broken out within. He looks at it staring over and just simply screams and states, "We oh, we, we got to we got to go in there. We got to see if anyone's injured." I thought we put it out. Uh, we put a, yeah, the the fire of the airship, but there's what is happening here? This is why this, is everything burning? This feels like an actual. This feels like someone's trying to attack, but but why? Um, the instructor will rush off to the hunter's haven. Will you all join uh, him? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, along. No. Because that thing all made of wood. <laughs> Hayo, do you stay behind? No, no, I go. Okay. Hayo, <laughs> can't you control the flames? We need you. No. I can do water and flame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell, tell, tell the fires to calm down. That's what um, you do, right? Calm down. <laughs> no. She's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, let me go ahead and pull out the knight. We've got to put out the fire. Mm, no. <laughs> no. But the treehouse is so cool. <laughs> the circle of life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, give me one second. <laughs> Let it burn. No, it's okay. <laughs> And that's how the campaign ends. Hunter's Haven is a silly place. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. <laughs> Credits roll. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Hunters of Iowa. <laughs> they, just, they just all turn around and put on sunglasses that haven't been invented yet, and they just walk away from the burning tree top. <laughs> Hunters of Iowa. Okay, give, give me one second. I need to go ahead and get eh, up up. Danger zone starts flying. Yeah. And then I immediately lose my channel for uh, DMCA. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want to go out. <laughs> with your channel, we're taking it with us. <laughs> All right. As you enter the Hunter's Haven. There we go. I'll put that down at that point. Um... Yeah, you would at this point see that the haven itself uh, appears to be uh, falling apart as if it just went through some sort of attack. Uh, you just see the instructor immediately look around, rushing ahead, looking for people. Yeah. Uh, this, I, I'm going to run and like f try and pat out any flames I can find. Okay. Like As stomping them out. As you stomp it out, uh, a darkness falls over the area as the night is pitch black within the Hunter's Haven. I can't see! Put it back on. Light it again. <laughs> uh, who is using torches? Never. Uh, do oh, I even have any left? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Night vision. 
Uh, at that point, you'll see uh, Dirk hop over the hunter's desk, looking around. You Dirk, didn't mean the, to hop over it. You just globe. bumped into it. Oh, he just oh, walked, shit. bumped into uh. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, at that point, yeah, you're just stumbling around. Okay, let me. so if you can't see anything right now, Dirk, let me know. You can't. Uh, so as you walk ahead, uh, you immediately hit the table like, uh, like a gut check. As it like... <laughs> Damn it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Just working out the core. I don't have any torches left, but I do have a tinderbox that can light torches. Hmm. Does anyone Would have you torches? like a torch pickle? Back. Uh, you're very much so here. Yes. Yeah, I have, like, I have quite a few. I'll give you one. Also, there is wood all around us. Oh, that's true. I'll just pick up a stick from the ground and light it, I guess. Okay. I'll you light a torch. Absolutely free to do that. I will uh, cast control flame to make it brighter. <laughs> oh, the torch? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Whoa, that's some strong, <laughs> strong light of fluid. Whoa. You just see this blaze of the torch just ignite up uh, on, uh, once again, Eric, as it panics you. Woo! She just whispers it. She doesn't even tell him she did it. Just, the fire. <laughs> ignite, ignite the fire. It'd be really pog. He just stares on the torch, wondering if he's doing this. <laughs> So powerful. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, everyone, be on your guards. Uh, what is everyone doing while you're in here? You just We've see the fire. Find survivors. Yeah, you just see the, the fire spreading up all around. Uh, fortunately, when you left the Hunter's Haven, it was pretty desolate and empty. Wait, didn't there used to be a doorway here? There was. It is now completely collapsed in. Oh, the, here as well. Yeah, the yeah. roof and ceiling has collapsed in around the area. Oh no, we need to go put out the fires. Stop this from spreading. Small thing. Why would someone attack an empty building? I don't understand. I <laughs> mean, it's, it's an important building. He looks so, I was like, I don't even know who would be enemies with the hunters. But we're here to do good, to stop the monsters from continuing to reproduce and expand and danger the civilization around. We've never had an attack like this. This feels focused. Doesn't this feels... make sense. If they were against the hunters, why wouldn't they go for the hunters, not the place they go to? I, I don't get it. I, he turns around and he's like, I'm, I agree with you there. I'm, I'm with you. But for now, we should probably look for survivors. Uh, Either that they attack the airship, they might be going for both. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> As Hayo squeezes by the, by the Is this bridge. bridge still stable? I mean, there's so many fires around. This is not going to break, right? Oh, my God, cowards. Make an, investiga oh, make an investigation oh, check. Uh, the investigation check was him going across. I the mean, bridge. I walked across and yeah, that happened. The, the, yeah, so what would you run? It buckles a little bit, but you're able to get through on the other side. Uh. Uh, Dirk, you see uh, a body um, close by. Oh, that that's a body? Mm-hmm. How should uh, we best cross this bridge? Just one Eric. at a time. Eric will just yell, Come on! <laughs> uh, the gnome will, will rush across, considering the fact that, you know, a, a taller man did it. Okay. Uh, 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 be, be, uh, ca be careful. The I'll bridge, the bridge careful. might be... Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you cross the bridge next to you, you would also see the body. Oh my god. I feel like we've seen this person before. Mm. Oh, wait. You see oh, the god. You Is see that the, the, the hunt keeper. keeper. Mm -hmm. You see the body of the hunt keeper. Oh, I took right. her for a pulse. Woman. Uh, go ahead and give me a medicine check. I'm going to close my eyes and. and I, can close I your eyes and cross life? the bridge? Can I hold on to like a piece of your. Armor, something. Uh, he, uh, he, he'll, he'll, he'll grab Hayo's hand and just guide her across. Wait! <laughs> just Wait. like pull her across. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hayo perishes. That's so great. <laughs> 
<laughs> in a rushed fashion. As you all ga gather around the body of, yeah, the hunt keeper Frimmy, a medicine check will reveal um, that she is no longer alive. Oh, no. A medicine check will also reveal her means of death, which is by a slashing weapon. Oh, my God. Oh, Somebody okay. did this to her. They slashed her open. What type of slashing weapon? <laughs> may I make a check to determine? <laughs> you may, <laughs> you may make you may, yeah, yeah. You could go ahead and do investigation. Yeah, you're free to do well, that. We can probably guess. Could I? Could I do a medicine? Would that yeah, work? You, you, medicine also works. Yeah. Uh, the slashing weapon appeared to have been curved in nature. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. I'm suddenly very interested in everything that's going on here. <laughs> we need to get to the bottom of this. Oh. There could be other people that know or survivors. Frimmy. Uh, get, get out of my way, Jack. <laughs> You'll just hear him oh, yell. God. Uh, who did this to you? He'll kneel down. Uh, uh, Amasi, are you able to do anything? <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> he trips over a rock. Hayo <laughs> uh, kicks the rock. <laughs> hmm. She's no longer alive. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. At this point, uh, Amasi will brandish his greatsword. Keep on your guard. The intruder may still be here. I just don't understand why. It's clear we're dealing with some sort of psychopath. Something like this. I don't know. Maybe some sort of animal sympathy. I, I genuinely don't know. That thing infiltrated us. It was here spying on us. I don't, I don't understand why we would have any sort of enemies, though. Maybe we could ask him. And Pickles draws his spade and shield. Well, that was that large creature we hunted. It was, uh, was it purple? It was abnormal. Maybe they're upset we killed them. No, the toad. That was, it was covered in void. Mm. Oh yeah. Do you really think it's just like some animal sympathizer that like doesn't want us killing things? Maybe his no. mother was a hamster. Did you well, this is far above that. Ah. I'm uncertain. Uh, maybe. It's, it's all very possible, but... We haven't had enemies like this. This is... And poor Frimmy's done nothing wrong. Whoever did this would go through a lot of effort just to give a message to the hunters. Mm. Mm. Whatever we do, we must be on our guard. <laughs> Eric! He points over at the fire. Hmm. Stop at that! <laughs> don't, want this to burn, don't want this place to burn down. Stomp, 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 stomp. I Hi. will put out this one with her magic. <laughs> magic. She just looks at it sternly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, ma'am. Yes, I'll put yeah, myself yeah. out immediately. The, the, the flame abashedly goes back. How dare you exist? <laughs> and then it just so <laughs> walks back. Holy I'm really shit. glad that we fixed this. Hayo badass arc, what the fuck? Hayo <laughs> would like to speak to the fire's manager. Yeah. She's full deal anytime she casts. <laughs> I'll decide if you burn. <laughs> <laughs> be on your toes and be careful. I. You just see the, you just see the instructor just again, lean over to Frimmy. Just kind of cradle her a little bit. I'm going to lead the charge. Uh, Taryn. Maybe I'm not. This is a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh I love Pickles just being like, we've got to take action. I'm ready to go. Oh, bridge, my one weakness. Uh, someone else would like to. Uh... <laughs> How does the bridge look? Go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, boy. I'm bad at these. 
Yeah. Eight. Uh, with your investigation check, the bridges themselves seem to still be sturdy, with no evidence of burn marks. All right. Seems safe to me. Come on. And I'm going to cross over the bridge. Uh, the bridge is once again rather rickety, but <laughs> you are able to cross. Okay. Right, I'll make room for my allies. And then pat this out while I'm at it. <laughs> the elderly knight will continue to cross through valiantly. Where's Pup? I don't just see him. Them in the dark? Did we just... mm. Check the rubble. Oh, at that point, as everyone leaves, you have left. Uh, <laughs> you've. Where's the fucking light? <laughs> oh, poor Io. Thank you. Uh, Instructor Terun will stay behind. No, he's just in the dark with the dead Well, he has Sheep. night vision, so he's all right. <laughs> uh, Dirk, what are you doing as you begin to look around? Uh, he's looking at the, um, like, the, what's on the table. Is there any, like, food here? Is there anything that's shown sign of, like, recent normal activity? Uh, so, you could tell from what you recall, um, anything of value from the table looks like it's been taken. I see. So, someone has left here in a rush. Are the void salts still there? I was about to say, yeah, are the salts there? <laughs> uh, you would look around to see the... <laughs> God. You would see a dissolved burlap sack with purplish salt <laughs> scattered across the ground. Perfect. <laughs> My God, they took everything. Holy shit, I can't believe VV ate that. I can't. Awful. You know, I'm really wondering if he's even a tabaxi sometimes. Probably some sort of eldritch creature. Honestly, he probably did this. I don't, know, I don't know about that, but you can come to your own conclusions. Do you think maybe he went so crazy that he came back here and killed everybody? Dark. Uh, Do you think so? He got eaten. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, yeah, that's doing best. Um, terrifying lack of empathy. Yes. yes. You anyway, look at this bridge. <laughs> um. Uh. Dirk actually wants to inspect this bridge to see if it's okay. Okay. What would I do? Uh, an investigation check. It's fine. Dirk walks across. <laughs> <laughs> Am <Everything> I okay? <laughs> As you continue to cross the rickety bridge, um, you will see... Uh, as you cross there, an ind individual walking up. With the sound of, like... Almost like cowboy boots. That that yeah. That uh, what's that sound with the uh, spurs? Oh, that's spurs. A jingle, scary jingle, sound. jingle. Yeah, you would hear spurs walking. Um, as you would then just see, um, Sean, uh, Shonda Bay looking over at you. Oh, this is it. Oh hey. Oh, oh god. As he's holding hey, the I'm side. Sorry. Everybody, get up here so you can watch. Um. Hey. How are you? Hey, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Starstruck. <laughs> He'll brandish the scythe. Have oh. you have you come for me? I mean I can if you want to. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I can't legally say that was in character, you just set that up way too much. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, you are uh free to say that in character if you wish. And I, I can't I can't. Why not? I love. He's I, too shy to say that. He's not. He's not going to say that. He just right. so. <laughs> this your face just turned That's red. An at internal that internal monologue. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says <laughs> in his brain. Shonda May responds. Hmm. I see the strong and silent type. I can respect it. You can. Yes. Me. And then he'll he'll go back to being silent. Hmm. He, uh, he'll, he'll turn over to the dead barkeep that's over there. <gasps> oh, no. And then turn back over to you. Still, still essentially at this point, as he's braced onto his scythe, um, a surprise action has been removed for you at this point. But he does not engage in combat. Uh, Dirk is just going to basically just stare. 
and mm -hmm. he's hanging way too much onto the fact that he just said he respected him for being strong and silent, so he's taking that far too literally <laughs> and is now just standing there and Never sort of like posing. Like yeah. 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 Just sort of posing Never and just looking. Again. Whisper so, over to the other hunters. What is he doing? <laughs> Who are you so, talking to? So are you a hunter of this haven or what? Who are you? Casual yep. nod. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I have no interest in harming you. I've already gotten, I have already uh, claimed what I've wanted. Um, I wish to leave in peace now, so stand aside. Fuck, he's gonna do it. <laughs> Who are you talking to? The voice echoes off into the distance. You will see Shonda May at that point look off to the bridge and look back over to Dirk. Dirk oh, will do that like, you know, like when you're on the phone with someone and your kids are like annoying you and you like wave your hands away like, he does that. Dirk will just just stand and be prize. silent and strong. That's all he will do. This he is Dirk's crush. Let him have this. <laughs> We don't... Who? I can't see. He's a murderer! It's the scythe man. Oh. Yeah, he's a murderer! <laughs> How do you see him? Rubs come, right. come up here. And I'll point <laughs> to the ground next to me. <laughs> you can see it over here. Come on. Step come on over here. here. If you step it's over good here on the, on the burning rubbish, you can go ahead and see them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, one, just one step towards me. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he will step forward that towards guy. you it's at, at this point. Dirk will finally muster some words. Um, where are, where are you going? <laughs> he tilts his head. Why do you wish to know? He'll step forward again. <laughs> this is so cute. I have been looking for purpose and I have not found it here. Maybe I could accompany you. Okay. He's going to. <laughs> Sorry, fuck! I can't got me. He's going. <laughs> he's going to roll in it. He's going to incite you. Uh, are you speaking the truth? He is speaking the truth. Yeah. He'll look. He'll look you up and down. At that point, and give a smirk. I understand what it is to not feel as if you had not had purpose. But. I was an outsider in this haven for many years. It wasn't until I was awakened that I started to gain true purpose and to suspect how this entire haven, as well as the organization of hunters, is a lie. Pinkles, you're right. Wait, what? <laughs> a lie, how? I've been doing some research since my awakening to just Peach. Tr try and understand it all. Why do we just continuously hunt within these lands for a some sort of obese man who seeks food? I have been around the havens <laughs> investigating. Oh he then barks at you and then... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it angers him. It angers him greatly. <laughs> His animalistic nature comes out. <laughs> oh my. He, um... The, the havens themselves, the Gormund King. S specifically, the king itself. All lies upon this land. This land, this... This forest, it houses a greater purpose than it has been used for selfish material needs. I wish to find out its true purpose. And maybe... And how do you know your theories are true? Hmm. At that point, he will open up his coat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. We're really gonna let this guy go because he looks cool to Dirk. 
<laughs> as he reaches into uh, what appears to be, he pulls out a stone with a sigil. Hmm. He looks you up and down at that point, and he places the stone back and grabs another one of a different sigil, and he hands it off. He hands it to you. Uh, Dirk will grab it and <laughs> look at it. Mm. What if he's the one that killed everyone? Grasp the stone uh, upon its rune and let it sear upon your flesh. Oh, oh God. Is he about to turn Dirk into one of those things? Dirk? Uh, Dirk will uh, put it in his hand, and if you guys want to do anything, uh, he's within one round going to do this, so. Uh, I, uh, does anyone want to stop? It's too early for marriage! Stop! I, I object! I object! <laughs> he turns Dirk holding the stone, will turn around. <laughs> he turns what over. What are you talking about? He turns over and he, again, still holding his scythe. Are they going to be I, a I problem? Mean, you, you, no, you, no, don't, no. you don't want to commit to something so early, you know, you got to get to know each other first. I'm, what, you can come over here. I mean, we can be on the same side here. It I'm not sound like he's, I'm not going but, to propose to him. What's <laughs> happening? Of course not. Did you do this? <laughs> I think everyone needs this? to relax. Everyone relax. You don't even know Dude. what's going to happen. Would what? you trade your friends, your party, for unimaginable power? Would you do that? <laughs> Did you can do use all the of ruler this? to show how slow the stair is. <laughs> can I look at his scythe? Look at yes. his scythe and see if there's anything on it, like blood? Oh yeah, there is definitely blood upon his scythe. This guy killed everyone in the Hunter's Haven! Now, hold Why on. Do it? Wait. Hold on. Let's what? hear him out. If he actually thought what? these people were bad for some reason, maybe he's actually a good guy. Were they bad people? I don't know anything about them except that they gave us food and jobs. I mean, that seems pretty nice, but like, you uh, know, capitalism. An excellent cover for evil. <laughs> they were protecting something that I needed to gain entry into. Mm, some ruins that are within this forest. Unfortunately, as guardians of these stones, he points over the stone that Dirk is holding. They would not give it willingly. And so, I took their lives. Okay, and these runes, are they like evil runes that you have to go destroy and they were protecting it, or...? As the uh, stone uh, continues to burn upon your hand, I can now tell you what the stone does. Oh, shit. So, Dirk, if you hold this stone for an hour, you are able to permanently change your class to a rogue. What? What? Oh. what? Okay. Meta, wouldn't that make me objectively weaker because I already have rogue abilities and I would lose all the fighter abilities? That is correct. <laughs> Get the shit out of my head. No, um. <laughs> but now you are aware of what the stone does. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, about the, the runes that you're looking for, like, surely it's like, it has to be destroyed, right? For it's like, for the good of everything? Hmm. Actually. It, it, do, does, it does lead to something that I would rather have shut down. Like a, a doomsday device, right? Sort of. Do you oh, have a question? I mean, do you ever question the origin of the beasts that are here? What are you talking about? They're just animals. They're just animals. They're dinosaurs that are able to shoot the power of the sun through their crest. A crustacean that is able to use the power of radiance and gods from from the ancient div magics. A frog who is able to create dangerous puddles of poison. These are not natural creatures, my friend. The frog thing kind of is, but yeah, no, I get it. He looks 
over at you. <laughs> <laughs> These creatures have been engineered specifically. For what reason, I'm uncertain. But I can tell you that they are being slowly released upon the forest by an individual who has control of these, this ruins, this spires. I theorize that it may be your very own Gorman King that is releasing these dangerous creatures out into the world. We, just so we can hunt them and bring them back to him? That doesn't make any sense. Mm. Think about it. With essentially all he has to do is release these creatures, hire a bunch of hunters to kill and murder them. The creatures are very much alive when they're released. He releases them, you kill them, and he gets his delicious meals and food. It is a, hmm, a selfish reason. And I'm uncertain if there's any other, uh, any other reason for why he would be doing such a thing. But needless to say, in all simplicity, your Gorman King is an idiot. What? Was everybody that was working here in on it too? Yeah, you didn't have to kill him. I still don't see the point. So he's creating jobs for us to feed him. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? He's releasing these dangerous creatures, risking the lives of hunters, all so we can have some sort of luxurious meal. Oh, hold on, these hunters are not drafted in the service. They willingly try this. They know the danger. Hmm. And you're okay with this? You're okay with a man who releases dangerous creatures out into the world, all for the hopes of getting a, a tasty treat. Is that all you want in your life? I mean, he could be ruining the ecosystem by, by uh, ruining the balance of nature and stuff, because these things are really strong. Mm hmm But he's also giving people purpose and jobs. Fuck capitalism! Fuck <laughs> Pretty bien. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you still just like looking at all the bodies you still didn't have to kill him hmm. you didn't have to kill him I needed to restore order back to these forests but more importantly like I said the two people that were here were keepers of, this, of these stones I currently have three of them and and he, offer, he, he stretches out his hand to Dirk to try and get the stone that you, uh, that he gave to you. Uh, Dirk will hand it back, seeing as how it's burning his hand and he doesn't like it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um, one second. I have to look at something. I currently require these stones to gain access to the facilities that create these creatures. I'm They're... getting ready to smack this guy. You're, Nobody wants to stop me. You're 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 free to do whatever. Yeah, it is but I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. If anybody else has got something ready to go. Mm -hmm. What are you planning to do once you get there? Well, very simply, I wish to go to the spire, gather all. I I wish to gather all the stones, go to the spire that is located within this forest, and completely destroy. The creatures that is either housed within the spire or or find the way or, or find the solution to halt the production of said creatures so. turn turn the forest back to its natural habitat end the lie of the hunters uh for for, for meta information is there like a court of law system in this world that we all know of generally oh yeah it's not like free reign like murder's still wrong you know right. things are still in or and it's it is it's what, what ruled is, by the what kingdoms. is the legal system what is the justice system uh, could we so, take him to court 
Could, would, would you want, like take him to court if you want? Uh, Hypothetically. I mean, in in a tropa itself, you would probably uh, have to take if if someone were to be arrested, it would probably be either in the service of the Gorman King or one of the many uh, senators that he has in his rule. Since the Gorman King has not really established uh, much of an interest in quote unquote maintaining order. So it would more right. than likely be a, a senator that is under him. Mm. And the land of Atropa is sort of wild land, so any order that does exist in there would be uh, underneath his rules. Since he is the he's the man with the money, and so mm -hmm. money rules it, essentially. Oh, they may have been guarding these stones, but it wasn't right to kill them, even if they were just misguided. But... I, I think that you're right about whatever these creatures are, it's unnatural. So, if you agree to answer for your crimes after this problem is dealt with, I, I say we go with you and we help you in this spire thing. He will... He hasn't really... He didn't really think of that for a moment, as he then will just look over to Nexi. His face will fall silent. And he will give you a reluctant nod. Allow me to finish my mission, and I will answer for these crimes. I feel Pickles my... will step up. <laughs> On one condition! <laughs> Another condition, he says, rolling his eyes. No matter who's bearing the stone, if they are innocent, you do not kill them. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how you respond to that. I don't care what your ends are, your means matter. And you didn't have to kill him. Hmm. Murder's not okay and it makes you no better than than all the monsters or the Gorman King himself because it was selfish and for your own purposes. They could have been convinced otherwise. They seemed like very good, reasonable people. Why the barking? He just wanted this place. I was making good money in research here, and you fucked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that got me. Fucking Eric just like throwing his arms like, yo, you fucked up a good thing. Fuck Not cool, up, dude. Man. Not <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucked up a good thing. My business plans, those are the most important. <laughs> sorry, I apologize. Yeah, um, I'm all the so, uh, <laughs> he, uh, will look over to Pickles and say, mm, I will add something to your condition. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I've been doing this alone up to this point. But with the proper assistance and, and help, I may not have to rely on such matters so I will refrain from killing them mm. only as a last resort if you feel confident that you can assist me in getting these stones mm. is that and deal then you answer for your crimes after everything is said and done yes 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 I've already agreed to that I'll answer for my crimes once everything's done okay can I insight that? Just make sure. Yeah, feel free. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm also gonna pickles. Don't <laughs> like this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, Nexi. Uh, okay. So I can tell you from from the insight rolls, you are unable to, to detect deceit. Okay. Mm. Now that doesn't mean. <laughs> right. It's it's there. It means we are able to detect it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure that's clear. Oh, I don't care what he says or how sincere he sounds. I'm not <laughs> trusting this guy. That's that is fair. How many stones are there? There are. There are twelve stones. I'm currently in possession of three of them. They contain a great power, and I believe were created by the Spire. This Spire, from my understanding, 
and th I theorize, not only house these strange creatures, but actually create them. Tell me, have you spotted any other creatures while you were out there in the forest, alone? Just some small whelps. And the displacer beast. Displacer beast? It looked like a panther and had weird tentacles that had the the body of a dead humanoid on it attached to it. Possibly to lure out prey? Hmm. That is a creative touch. And it was just roaming out in the forest? Well, yeah, yep. in the dark. It was very hmm. creepy. I would theorize it originates from the spire. Probably one of its more insidious creations. I simply put, I wish to enter the spire and e exterminate all life from within it. It's unnatural, and it's more than likely being created somehow within this spire. Can I make well, a history check to know what the spire is? You're free to do so. Yeah, I kind of want to do. Mm -hmm. A 13 is insufficient to know about a spire. A two is insufficient. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure now? A 16 is insufficient. You are uncertain what he's talking about. What about Hayo? Maybe she knows. <laughs> what about Hayo? She's big brained and also she's nerd. <laughs> I was just like. Mm -hmm. Hayo, I would like you to roll at an advantage. Because you're a nerd. <laughs> you know, because you live in lockers. <laughs> Did you say history? <laughs> um, so, Hayo, while you are unaware of the spire and what it is, you have an additional fact. You theorize that the rune stones that you have been found finding may somehow link to a to the spire since i mentioned before that it was a locking system for a mysterious structure mm. the only mysterious structure that you would even know about from your arcane entombment may in fact be the spire and mm. this could potentially even be an option that may not require you to use the stones at all to open it up But that is knowledge that you have, theories that you have, information that you are not required to share. What, what exact, where exactly is the thing you're trying to open? What I'm currently trying to open is an ancient location that has probably been here since the planetoid's birth. From my understanding, from my awakening, there are a variety of these ancient structures that, for the best of my knowledge, is the catalyst that allowed the creation, or I suppose, the terraforming of this planet, of Io. This is one of many of those locations, and I theorize it is used to create some more of the... Hmm... I suppose, flavorful beasts that were meant to spread throughout the planet, but have been isolated here on this continent. What do you mean when you keep saying you've been awakened? I don't know if you would be ready to understand such things. It would oh. melt your mind, he says, oh, looking at you. Uh-huh. Try me. <laughs> oh, he shrugs. Oh, audibly slaps her face. He shrugs. <laughs> Very well, then. Uh, I originate from a clan that lives amongst the stars. Specifically, is that correct? There is life outside this planet. He's a lunatic. And I've been created from that. Specifically on a facility that is in the mind of a deceased god 
that is hovering over your planet even as we speak. Okay, and what does the awakening part have to do with that? Well, it seems I've been placed here for quite some time to live out a normal and dull life. Something in me has recently switched on, and now I'm aware of my purpose. To serve this clan, the clan of Cosma specifically, who seems to be very interested in ending this planet. Wait, wait, wait. So, what? What? Ending the planet and mm -hmm. you're serving them? He kind of like motions his hand out a little bit. I'm certain they want me to do that, but it seems something has recently happened with them. And I'm st well, I am still well within control of my facilities. I'll even add a condition. He'll point over to Nexi. That if for some reason I lose control of my mind and go on a murderous rampage, he then looks back as he's saying that to the barkeep and goes, uh, a more purposeless murderous rampage. You're, you're free to dispatch me at this point. I don't need much motivation. Very well. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it'll happen after the murderous rampage. More like in like the first like maybe five minutes of it. Hopefully, I mean before too much damage is done. You know. Fair enough. But needless to say, I'm still in control of myself. I just have a bit more knowledge of my purpose, and it's true. My purpose is to kill each and every one of you to the best of my ability, as well as wait for objectives from. Some sort of overlord. I think he goes by the name Lagos. I've heard the name echo in my brain several times, but that voice has ceased to be as of recently. Okay, so you're an alien serving some sort of space clan that wants to end the planet, but you have control over yourself which means you don't want to do that, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. means you're not really serving them. That's correct. All right, at this point, let's just go see what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> As and uh, Dirk will look back to his uh, companions to see if they're okay with that. Yep. Hi, uh -huh. will lean over to Eric. Uh. I think I might have an easier way of doing what he's planning. Oh? What do you mean? I, th I think that large stone-like <sighs> container, the one I opened. Runes? I think it might be involved in this. I'm not entirely sure if it's a good idea to share this information with this guy or not. That's why I'm whispering to you. Right. Um, let's just see what he's got for now, I think, yeah. Mm. But, um, we'll keep that in mind. And he'll nod. Mm. Mm. Yes. Of course. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> at, that, at that point, he'll look over to everyone and say, So are we in agreement, then? You'll join me Pickles. to sh shut down the spire? Continue. Pickles gestures for him to come over, and Pickles takes off his helmet. I want you to look me eye to eye. A man to man. He walks forward and looks down at you. I jump up and slap him. <laughs> ah. Shit, Ow. I just dropped my pen. <laughs> That's okay. It's like a big smack. That was for the hunt keep. Now take us to your stupid quest. He, uh, his face will flinch over to the side. Before he turns over and nods. I apologize for the untimely demise of your friend. They were part of this system, this order. But I will see if I can refrain from doing so again in the future. If that would appease you. Um, Hiya, what are you Pickles doing? Pickles just looks over at Dirk. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Nope. Did you say nope? <laughs> nope. Dirk has no fucking idea. This is literally a space alien here. He has no idea what's going on, dude. <laughs> All right. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Hiya, what are you doing? Standing here. Menacingly. Watching. Mm -hmm. Well Waiting. then, well then, step aside, and we shall depart for the spire immediately. Mm. This way, my allies. Mm. Eric will take his first two steps, totally skipping, and then we'll stop. Shove him quick! <laughs> <laughs> nah, that would have been a good ambush spot, actually. <laughs> 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 Oh, the old well. winter and Haya step forward, we trap him. <laughs> it's at the, He's it's locked at, in our hitboxes, he can't leave. It, Three it's foot at, tall halfling girl stands stalwart. You shall not pass. Uh, Amasi <laughs> also steps forward at this point. Oh. And what is it exactly that you're doing? Uh, Asking the party. We are, uh... Escorting this fine gentleman to uh, find out whether or not he uh, committed crimes against friends or foes. <laughs> it's very plain to see that he committed crimes against us. Mm, what I'm curious about is why you're walking with him. Well, I said we're determining friends for foes. If he has a convincing story that paints you all as well, less than what you are, then frankly, I think we deserve to hear him out. If he's lying, well, justice. I don't think he deserves the time of day. Hmm. Well said, Pickles. And he turns over to him. I think I've heard just about enough of what this man has to say. And now that we have him on the bridge, and he brandishes his greatsword, I think he should pay for his crimes right now. But, but if he's right about the monsters, then... That could be a much bigger problem than this right here, right now. It could be responsible for so many lives. We need to at least look into it. He raises an eyebrow. You mean to tell me that the individual who said he came from the stars is telling you that there is some sort of building out there that is that is creating these monsters? That's ridiculous. You do realize how absurd that all sounds, correct? Yes, but I, I we've seen some very absurd things in the past. We've been fighting days. dinosaurs that shoot laser beams out their mouth. Can't say I've seen that anywhere else. This monstrosity that came together, made out of ever a part of everything that's been here, it was just it was so unnatural. It was wrong. Something's not going on correctly here. Some something strange. Well, then we will investigate that. But this man will step no further. Mm, I feel like you're a little biased in this situation. But what if he has more information than we do? What if we can't solve this without him? At least take it out on him after. Come with us. Listen, Watch him. Listen to yourself, Nexi. He's already fed you these stories, these lies. Does Meanwhile, she not, go on. Does she not get to roll like a persuasion or something? Uh, if she would like to. I would like to. Go we'll for it. Change the story. Uh, at that point, he stands very devout and stalwart to the uh, Hunter's Haven. As he once again will make the argument and say. Oh God, I was, I was about to say something. I totally forgot what he was about to say. Two of oh, all. Oh, never mind. No, no, well, never mind. Let's go. No, he, um, <laughs> he will state, he says, two of our friends lie dead by this man's scythe, and you're willing to just let him go? Escort no. him around to learn of these origins of monsters? I've Who seen all that I've him say. go. We're not letting him go. If anything, we're keeping watch on him so he can't flee. And who's to say that he can't all on his own? And who's to say if he's wrong? The thing is, if they really were knowingly defending something that is harming all of the people here, harming, if they were against the greater good, then 
then maybe they did deserve what they got coming to them, but we have See, what are you saying? She's just <laughs> trying to be impartial. We have to see both sides of this. Well, I guess now we'll never know. Because least, they're all dead. At least we can find out if we, what he's saying is the truth. If it's all false and there's no proof of anything he's saying, we know he's just a common thug and a murderer. And then we kill him. There's more than enough of us for that here. All I right. have made my decision. So I'm willing to let this guy rot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, besides Nexi, as she's already attempted to make a persuasive a argument uh, for an above board roll right now, I will let you know um, what's happening. Uh, Amasi is currently brandishing his greatsword over at Shandame, um, already deeming him guilty for his crimes of murder, as well as an attack on the Hunter's Haven. Um, at Amasi, who is very stalwart and devout to his ways, um, speaking of these sort of conspiracy theories at this point, essentially effectively falls on death, um, deaf ears. He wants justice, and he wants him to die here and now. However, uh, you all are trying to make the point that you're going to take him in your your custody to try and learn more of what he's saying. Uh, Amasi is of the mindset that that just sounds crazy. That's absolutely insane that it sounds like such an elaborate conspiracy theory against the, uh, the Hunter's Haven. So... With that, I need, besides Nexi, one of you who is on the side of keeping Shonda May uh, alive for this. Oh, I think uh, Nexi and Dirk are both on the side of keeping him. Okay, so Pickles, as, you, you as wouldn't stated. Pixel, Pickles, you wouldn't be interested in rolling persuasion to keep him alive, essentially? Uh, no, I wouldn't. No, Pickles is not on that side. Okay, no. cool. Um, I've already, I've already made my my perspective clear. So. At that point, it's up to Dirk. Uh, Dirk, if you do wish to keep this man alive, I need you to roll a persuasion check. Wait, if Dirk, it's... but he's already. Uh, oh, okay. Are you, no one, no one else. You're talking about Amasi, him. not. Are you talking about? Uh, you're no, saying not, not who alive? Shandame. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Sh uh, not killing Shonda May, essentially. Well, uh, I mean, I'll... the other two party members, we don't know their decision. That I mean, that's uh, so. What I'm saying is, uh, I would need one of you who is currently actively trying to keep him alive. To roll a uh, persuasion check to make your things because Amasi wants to execute him right here and now. Okay. Is, My is persuasion's low? Do you guys got anything better? But it would have to be someone that specifically that's is on, on the this. side. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. I know I heard Nexi and Eric both say they wanted to at least hear him out or, or just see it. So do you guys, mm -hmm. do you guys have anything in per, uh, persuasion or no? Oh, did Eric roll yet? I have not, but he more could. or less, I just want to see what the evidence. Like, yeah, that, that's what man. I'm saying too. Yeah, yeah. Man. Essentially, a mossy stance is I've seen enough. He's, I'm, I'm he's killing him now. He's absolutely guilty of killing everybody who's innocent here, and mm -hmm. I'm really curious why he didn't just kill us because we're innocent. Like mm -hmm. we're part of this as well. Yeah, he's just trying to get away. I don't so know. we have one, one roll. Yep, one roll. So you can choose between the two of you who wants to roll. I think, it. I yeah. think we both have minus one, right? <laughs> Correct. So it's up to you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I've got plus two, but I roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rolling. Um, Dirk, as you continue to try and make a persuasive point as that it falls on deaf ears, deaf ears, um, Amasi will at that point brandish his sword and the Amasi. time the time for skills are, well, oh, wait, wait. Would what you, you come with us? If we were to take him there. He would look over at Hayo and then just look back at Shonda May and state, I don't think this man should live for another moment. I'm not going to entertain his conspiracy the theories against the Haven. My, my problem is, is we've only found two of them. Where's everyone else? He may be. And she'll glance back at him with the most just... I can done look. <laughs> Maybe the only person who can tell us where they went or where they are. He has purpose of ending all of them because they're in his way. 
Sean DeMay at that point will state, I know where they are, of course. Would be pointless information if I were dead. So, stand aside. I will honor my deal, and as the young elvish woman said, will pay for my crimes after we've stopped, well, a danger to you and your haven. I mean... He doesn't need his hands to show us where to go. Shit. Wait, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Haya, what are you suggesting? She'll look it. She'll look it down at him. <laughs> Haya, are you suggesting that Yamasi chop off Sean DeMay's hands? I mean... I was gonna go for bind, but I mean, he's oh, got okay. the sword out. Oh, okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm for chopping off his hands. <laughs> That's what I thought you were saying. Um, if your true objective here is to stop them for whatever reason, then you wouldn't be adverse to being bound, would you? <laughs> Oh, boy. Shand May would immediately look over to Hayo and say, Absolutely not. All right, bind him. <laughs> no, I said, you're absolutely not you're going to bind me. Why not? Because I am still very well the most knowledgeable person to find the spire. I can't very well do that when I'm bound. We're going to bind your arms, not your eyes. <laughs> Shit. He would look <laughs> around. He would look around at that point and shake his head. Next, he makes angry eyebrows. <laughs> we either do this to draw them on. We either do this together or not at all. Mm, not a very convincing argument. We'd still be together. <laughs> I would need to be able to at least defend myself. Against Ooh. what? Against the dangers of the forest. There's these dark and evil creatures roaming about. I refuse to be bound with people. Well, we could be walking beside you and you know easily cut the ropes off if anything comes up. You know, we hear a noise that's like weird and suspicious oh, immediately. You know. I personally wouldn't consider it a big loss. Um, Hayo, please give me a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, Amasi at, at that point just yells, Enough! I'm not going to entertain any of these notions. This man is a murderer who's attacked the Haven. He dies here and now. Okay, and then when, when you kill him, we'll kill you because you just committed a murder. Pickles he will stand next to Amasi. I stand by him. You stand blind with no evidence. You're not even quite sure of the side you're defending. Shouldn't you at least see both sides of the argument? Uh, Amasi, blindly and valorously, I've seen enough. Honestly, it sounds like this guy is more reasonable than you. You will see Shandame give you a nod. Now, oh. <laughs> now do you see how blind they are? It's a little sus, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he definitely murdered these people and I don't think you should have done that. So I'm not gonna fight against you. Uh, looking at the three on the left side of the bridge. I'm not gonna fight against you guys to protect this asshole, but you know, I just don't think this is, we don't need more violence right now. So. A Mexican stand-up we got going off here. What's happening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> D and D. All right. Wait, is At right side the uh, side of Sean to me? I'm I'm just not gonna give up this side of the bridge. It's a defensive so, position. So <laughs> I at this point we have reached a high stress moment, and I need everyone <laughs> to roll initiative. Huh. <laughs> huh. This is interesting. I've never been in this situation in D and D before. Oh yeah, I like this. 
Yeah, I, I, hope, yeah I, I know it can be stressful, but I hope everyone's enjoying themselves. No, it's oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Never no, I, I think I like as much as I'm antagonizing Dirk and Sean to me, like I, you know. No, yeah. I'm I'm really oh, no, no, no. I, everyone, yeah, everyone does what they do, which is, uh, you know, absolutely. Absolutely. Aww. Okay. So I for this scene we'll be rolling initiative since we have entered a level of high stress let me get um shonda may will actually have an initiative mm -hmm. where'd the um oh my god what's his name the gnome go oh he's he's still mourning over the potty of frimsy right now mm. gotta be hearing this I, it would literally be a distorted e e echo across the bridge. I mean, you guys are pretty far within a building. Oh, that's true. I can't see. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Uh, oh, boy. All right. So now that we've entered uh, there, I am. I will be, let you know at this point, Amasi plans on striking against Shonda May. That That is what's going to be happening at his initiative. Pickles, what do you do? Uh, I will be striking against Shonda May. All right, Roll. I'm taking my crustapod shield, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. All right, go try for to it. Shove him off the bridge. Boy, am I! I'm I'm ready <laughs> to. You can grapple. Uh, you can grapple and move if you want. I can. Um, I would absolutely allow that. Let's attack first. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have two attacks, so let's attack again. Yeah. All right. Uh, that 19 hits. And the damage. And I'm going to shove him. <laughs> okay. There it is. Shield Master Shove, take the action on your turn. You can use a bonus action to try and shove a creature within five feet of your shield. Uh, Wait, are we level five? How do you have two attacks? We are, aren't we? No, you're level, level four. four, I thought. We're level four. Never mind. My bad. Just Shonda kidding. lives. I thought. I thought we were level five. No, you're, um, level f you're level four. It's all good. Time to fix my sheet. Just kidding. No, buddy. My bad. Uh, okay, okay. My bad. That's my bad. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Fixed, can you can you still it. shove though, or or is the shield master shove level the, five ability? It, uh, it doesn't say that I have to hit. Does right. it? Uh, if, you if you take, take an attack, attack action, action on your turn, you can use a bonus action to try and shove. That is correct. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna oh, shove okay. regardless, regardless okay. of the fact that he takes no damage. Uh, okay, uh, please make a spe special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from you. Uh, oh, do I need to make another attack? The, uh, the target must be no more than one size with your reach. Instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength athletics check contested by the target's strength or uh, dexterity. So you have to make an athletics check. Okay, hey, yeah, 23. <gasps> oh, baby. Okay. At that point. Oh, boy. Shonda May gets shoved off the bridge and, and just falls at this point. And, that was for my friends! And descends down to the tree line below. Well, Next he shrugs. Eh, he had it coming. Uh, are we still in like initiative? Uh, it depends. Would any of you guys classify yourself as still being in high stress with Shonda May being shoved off the bridge? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, then we are still in initiative. <laughs> also, Hayo is not. She she rolled, but wasn't added to the initiative order. Uh, what's yeah, she had a seventeen? Seventeen. All right. Um, seventeen. Uh, Hayo, select your token and re-roll again, since that is what the. Uh, that's what the rules dictate. If your token doesn't get pulled, picked up, you have to re-roll initiative. Sorry about that. Hey, well, right. there you go. That works. Better one. Yeah. Um, all right, Pickles. I guess that's my turn. All right. Hiya, what do you do? <laughs> do you slow fall this man? <laughs> I don't have slow fall. Oh, damn. I will, however. Let's send a fireball after him. <laughs> um, I will 
What? I can't tell by his token. What does he classify as? Is he a uh, medium? Uh, who who are you uh, targeting? The man who fell. Oh, yeah, that's, that's medium. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... <laughs> oh my god, I I'm can't believe it. I'm going to use telekinetic movement and hold him in the air. Shonda May suspends. He falls. Shonda May suspends up into the air. You will agree to be bound, or you will die on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> How high up are we? Oh, uh, I'd say pretty We're high up. We're above the canopy. Yeah, you, so. you're about, I'd say, forty feet up in the air. Oh, that's like you won't even die. How many D6 is that? Uh, four D6. Like a, it's like a good attack. He'll be fine. Shut the fuck! I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> How high can you hold him? Hold, get, get him higher up. Uh, I'm gonna flip a coin. Move him thirty feet higher. <laughs> Seventy oh. foot drop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're able so to, he you, goes up. <laughs> yeah, you, you fly him up in the air at that point. He's eight, trying to hold on the best that he can. I'm going to roll a 1d4. Um, and a 1 is going... If I roll a 1, uh, he declines your offer. Wouldn't that just be an intimidation, though? It, this is the way that I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. All right. He suspended up into the air. Looks around and looks over at Hayo at this point. Fine. Fine. Hayo's forehead will sweat and she will put him on the put him down on top of Dirk. Dirk um, instinctively just moves. <laughs> hey. You bound him. You bound him. And she'll look over at at uh the the paladin man will you agree to this <laughs> give me you should have asked him before putting the guy back down <laughs> <laughs> uh give me i did what i did <laughs> give give me a persuasion at an advantage please fail this so all you did was just help him <laughs> <laughs> so roll again you get to roll again Hell yeah! Oh. Amazing. Oh my god. god I love the Indian. <laughs> Please! He is silent for a moment. Very well. <laughs> but I shall test to the binding. And he holds out for the rope. Take some rope out of my pack and give it to him. Hmm. Very well. At this point, he will tie Chanda May. What does he have on his possession? His weapon. The one he used to murder everyone in the Hunter's Haven. Hmm. Very well. He will take the weapon. At this point, we are in high. Are we still in high stress, or will you allow Amasi to essentially frisk and disarm Chanda May? Allow I'm it. not stopping That's him. Fine. Okay. Me neither. Okay. Uh, at that point, he will disarm the scythe, hand it over to, um, hand it over to Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Begin Grip the shaft. And at that point, <laughs> begin to pat Shonda May down, finding three stones with runes. Careful with those. Hmm. Who wish to hold these? They hurt really bad when you hold them. Hmm. We may need them if we are to investigate further. We could always oh, just... get like a burlap sack or something. Yeah, just like wrap them up or something. Or someone just take these. I'll, I'll put them uh... in a jar. Oh, yeah, 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 jar. That's good. Good idea. And he will, uh, at that point, bind Shondame, uh with his uh, arms wrapped behind his back and turn him around to hold, hold on to the rope. Remember, I saved your life. 
Hmm. You're and lucky she's nice. He'll nod with his, uh, at that point holding on, he will release for a moment. Pull out his greatsword. And Eric stab will, uh, Shonda May through uh, the back. Oh, come on. I, <laughs> I said it before you said it. You were, you're free. Action. Roll, roll initiative if you wish to stop him. But you can tell exactly what he's about to do. Um, can I try to just shove Shonda May out of the way so we can all watch this paladin lie? <laughs> watch him lie? That, well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we have to do a contested initiative roll. Okay, fair enough. If you roll higher than him, you shove him out of the way. If he rolls higher than you, he stabs Shonda May through the back. All right. Woo! Okay. I'm going to delete the initiative. So Dirk 7. If I roll higher than a 7, MSC stabs Shonda May through the back. Here we go. Dirk attempts to stop Emissy at that point, moving forward, seeing what it's to do, but it's too late. As Emissy immediately thrusts his sword through Shonda May's back and chest. You see the bloodied sword coming out of his chest at that point. Shonda May grasps for air. And then you'll see Emissy kick Shonda May's body off from the sword as it falls limp down the bridge. Can you do it again, Hayo? Grab him. <laughs> we can heal him. What the hell was that? You, you lied. He spits down off the bridge. You were entertaining a murderer. We got the stones. We got his scythe. You still want to investigate it. I'm fine with that. And I'm even willing to help you do it. But I wasn't going to listen to that man talk anymore. He deserved no. to die, and you were willing to let him live for his crimes. I've lost like good friends. I'm a murderer today. right now. He looks, he looks over at you. That man Derek, killed. Yeah, we'll that be entertaining you. <laughs> Never in <laughs> cycle. Can we, can we get off the bridge? It's making me nervous. That man killed my friends. I wasn't willing to entertain him. He begins to walk away, leaving. How can I and trust you if you lie to us so easily? He looks down for a moment as he continues walking away, leaving an attack of op uh, area. Trust me, don't trust me. It's no business of mine. I was merely satisfying justice for a man against a man who murdered my friends and attacked the haven that I love. I don't care what you think of me, but that man needed to die. Does anyone do anything? No. Nope. I let him walk by. He walks away. I mean, you did have him dead to rights. I'd say it's all right. Well, I guess we can still go after him. You know, if it turns out that, that this guy's in on it too, and that everybody that worked here was in on it, then, well, we can get real justice. But he was a murderer, so... I can't really blame him. Dirk, what are you doing? Oh yeah, the cat was freaking out. Um, can can we go over the what happened in the past fifteen seconds? My cat was freaking out. Oh yeah, sure. Um, sure. which oh sorry, I was waiting for your reaction. Uh, what was the last part that you saw? Um, he walked away. Yep. Uh, so, okay, so he walked away. Everyone let him. Um, Nexi uh, pretty much mentioned that you guys could still 
investigate this. Um, and that if you discover that the Haven is all a lie and then he, that essentially, Nexi, do you want to recap what you said? I don't want to. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Basically, basically, you know, like if, if the people working at the Haven are actually evil and hiding this evil plot, like we, we can get justice anyway, but Chandamay was in fact a murderer and there's no disputing that. So I'm not too upset about him dying. Mm. Fine. We can stick with the actual original plan. We go see this spire, whatever he was talking about. That just rubbed me the wrong way, though. Don't kill an unarmed combatant. You were willing to protect the guy who did the same. How do we know they were unarmed? We don't know what happened here. We just know that he killed them. Yeah, and an ant is armed, too, but you wouldn't say it's a fair fight to stomp on him. We have no context of what happened. I choose to trust the monsters down there than that man. Why didn't he kill us then? Well, he seems to think whatever's not useful is worth dying. The only thing he saw in us was use. Not necessarily. I think he was planning to do whatever he was going to do regardless. And in fact, he asked us to just get out of the way. Maybe he just thought we were not associated with this whatever that he's accusing them of. We're just all victims, too, if this really is all a big, you know, conspiracy. Let's say this is all an illusion. What does he really gain from exposing everyone? I, I mean, look at Pickles. He loves the hunt. He, we would just be taking that away from him. Yeah, but how many people have died for this cause? And if it's ruining the environment, too, making things so unnatural and weird, then... Well, maybe he was fighting for the greater good, just with a twisted way of going about it. Look, none of this makes sense. We have to find out what he was after. It's the only way we can know. Yeah. While this is going on, Pickles is just like looking down, muttering to himself, The way you do it matters. The way you do it matters. Stop. Stop. Stop rolling things. <laughs> Uh, I guess Derek will uh, start to go outside. Like, do we have any idea how to find the spire? Um, well, we need at... these stones, or we can use the arcane rune thingy. Mm -hmm. Now that the guy's dead, Hayo could always mention his, his magic stick. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Derek will aimlessly wander outside, hoping for a party member to inform him. <laughs> uh, Hayo, what are you doing? these fires bro like oh hello? shit yeah that's right <laughs> yeah oh, oh. unimportant ah. you all yeah. walk away as the hunter's haven burns down in the background <laughs> fuck that place <laughs> all right so with that as you leave the hunter's haven uh once again uh you will walk past uh Terun as well as um sorry you walk past Terran as well as Amasi uh who is essentially at this point helping to uh clean up and prepare to bury their friend uh Frimmy they stay behind to try and take out any of the fires begin to clean up the haven again so in the hopes that it may once again return to its splendor of the of the uh hunt of the hunters of Atropa. Meanwhile, the rest of you have now gained knowledge of the, the spire um, of potentially a plot or an area where monsters are actually being created uh, and then released in the hopes that it may be hunted somehow by the Gormond King. Whether this is true or not, as well as all the details that you know of it, uh, a lot remains unanswered and uncertain now that uh, Shondame has, in all intents and purposes, uh, been stabbed through the chest and pushed off. Does anyone look for Shonda May's body? I assume we would have to go outside to do that first, right? That is correct. Yes, then Dirk would definitely do that. Uh, all right. Uh, Dirk, I will allow you to take a, uh, take a 20, if you'd like, if to spend the evening looking for the body, if you so wish. Sure. Dirk. 
you find a pile of blood, but you do not find a body. Good shit. Oh. How big a pile did he liquefy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, uh, just sink through. <laughs> essentially, a, a puddle of blood was left. Gotcha. And in fact, that's what the rolls I just made was was death saving throws. Oh, oh no. you crit failed. <laughs> <laughs> he got one crit fail, so it was literally that last roll was either he lived or he died. And with a twelve, uh, he got his third success and escaped. Lucky. Yeah, he got very lucky. I saw that one. I was like, oh, he might be dead. This man might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is fair to say that Shandame is still out there somewhere. Uh, Dirk, you may keep the, you may share this with the party or keep this knowledge to yourself. Uh, Dirk would just simply say he had he found no traces of anything. Like he oh. just simply couldn't even track it. He couldn't tell where it was. It's dark out and stuff. Gotcha. So... Um, with the stones in hand and with knowledge of a spire that potentially houses or creates dangerous creatures that roam Atropa, you are free to, um, if you so desire, um, explore this and learn more knowledge about this. So with that, uh, that will be the ending and conclusion of Hunters of Io. Mm. Oh, it's such a oh, sad ending. Mm-hmm. I'm all about sad it's endings, unfortunately. Here. And with that, I have an offer for each and every one of you that may be interested. Now that this part has been concluded and you have gained knowledge of the Spire and have acquired three stones to potentially open the spire. Uh, I have a new campaign for you all if you so wish to continue that storyline afterwards. I've already got it set up for those that are able to do if we need to fill player slots because I know, for example, um, I know Joe's pretty busy with his own D&D campaign that he's got going on. Um, but I have a new campaign set up for specifically this crew uh, called the Spire of Euclid, which is essentially you gathering information and knowledge of a spire that creates these dangerous monsters, either by traveling to the other hunting hunter havens to learn more of its lore or to search out as you've opened up the other path, um, search out these other rune stones in the hopes to find the spire and find out its mysteries uh, mysteries specifically of what the purpose of the spire is so if you wish to have a uh, technically unofficial second season or a first season of a new campaign using that that option will remain open to you obviously did you just offer me more D D. I did just offer you more Sign D &D. Me up. <laughs> um, obviously if this is something we would talk about offline if anyone would be interested so that you guys can Think and plan and prepare, see what your schedules are, because uh, you did agree to 10 sessions of Hunters. That's been over now. Um, mm -hmm. For those that do wish to continue, if we do need to find um, other players, I can also actively work on that as well. But I'm going to copy and paste the uh, new campaign name now. Uh, and with this, we can do same time. We can find different time slots. Those are all things that we can talk about offline, but I do want to make sure that I am... Um, offering that to you all because uh, you all have been a very lovely party and a lot of fun to DM. And I it's hope you've been great, man. Yes. Yeah. And I hope you guys have been, I hope you guys enjoyed Hunters of Bio. Um, but uh, yeah. So could I have, could hmm? I have one last scene? With yes, please. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what scene would you like? Uh, just amongst all the rubble and everyone just like cleaning things up, Pickles will just like sit solemnly on the on the table, just like with his mask off, staring at it, the Wiggler helmet, and uh, just like kicking his legs off the the side, and just like muttering to himself, "That man, he was a lot like my old hunting master. Always used to believe that the ends just justified the means. And even if he what he said is true, I don't know. 
I don't know that all this makes me want to be a hunter anymore. And he will simply drop his wiggler head onto the floor. And whatever else the party is doing, he will exit out uh, with them. No longer with the wiggler head. Aww. Fade to black. Oh, my, my boy. My boy. Very sweet. That's all. I liked it. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for sharing. Um, did you guys enjoy yourself like though? Good campaign. That yeah. session was yeah. awesome, dude. I, I I loved that session. That was yeah. I seriously I thought I was there. Have, I seriously thought I was gonna have to fight Dirk, and honestly, I, I, do, would, I thought we were gonna have to I fight each other. It's like oh god, fight like if you if you would have if you would have started uh, defending that guy, I would totally be down to I fight. I know you would have. Oh, that would have been so fucking good. Yeah, that was a, that was a really great session. I had. Fucking, a, I, I had a lot of fun with that. Duel of the fate starts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, Spire of Euclid will definitely be more of a traditional D&D uh, &D campaign, um, along with several elements from like you know, the hunting weapons that you have created, still able to build more of that if you want. Um, the stones that you found, specifically you found the Sorcerer's Stone, the Rogue Stone, and the Paladin Stone. This allows you to change your class from fighter to any of the stones that you have and each stone is affiliated with a class if you do wish to discover or find them so you are with that able to change your class if you ever does if, if you ever want to change your base class you're free to do so um and combine it with the hunter's weapons which also give you a variety of abilities to make your own sort of custom builds and things of that nature um those I'm options paladin, rogue and what else uh, you got uh, Sorcerer's Stone, Rogue Stone, and Paladin Stone. Are we going to be able to find the Philosopher's Stone? Are you, are you able to, uh, you'll be able to find the, uh, 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 there's no P. Can I become a wizard? There's, oh, Paladin. Uh, you can, you can find a Wizard Stone. There is a Wizard Stone out no, there. Find a, yeah. Finding Job Stones. What are you talking about? The Sorcerer's Stone's right there. That's the localized version. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, so those are all options available to you. But, uh, like I said, I'll talk to you more offline to see what your schedule is. If you guys are interested in some more d and I'm more than happy to DM it with you. Um, mm -hmm. the Spire of Euclid definitely has more IO lore, um, in tuned with it. Um, and also there's a lot of wild elements out there like right now, for example, a, you know, dying slash limping Shonda May still out there in the works. Uh, a lot of questions oh, about the hunter, Taven. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot of story that could be told. So, but that was, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for, for being a part of that. And thank you for being a part of my campaign. Uh, it's been a man. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's been, it's, dope. yeah, it's been an absolute, absolute pleasure. So. Um, with that, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. So thank you guys again. I'll hit you guys up, um, offline just to see where your head's at. If you guys are interested in continuing this campaign, um, I would love to DM it for you. So thank you guys again. Thank Sounds good, man. Thanks for running. Yep. Have a good one, guys. Yep. Sounds Bye. good. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks.